Hey everybody, today we're going to start taking a look at device hardware inventory and set it in tune. So the way we get started is you're going to create a new policy. Now when you go down to Windows 10 you're going to see a brand new type called properties catalog, which is a little confusing but we'll give you an idea here. So I type, type, in, type in device hardware. So now it kind of looks like settings catalog, but when you hit add properties, you're going to see all these different categories you can select. And just for fun, we'll select everything. And in my blog article, we'll, we'll cover all the different pieces of it. But you can see here, you're like battery, BIOS, CPU, disk, encryptable volume. So you can see all kinds of stuff in here. So there's a lot of really cool, fun info that is available. Then you hit select. And it'll show you here how often it will refresh. It's pretty neat. You can even remove categories. You're going to hit next. And then from here, I'm just going to go all devices. You can do a filter if you want. Then you're going to hit create. And so it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to work on pushing this policy down. And once it collects the data, we're going to be able to go take a look at it. So we'll be back in a little bit. So under device hardware, you can see some have come in, shown good, and some are, there's still a lot, well not a lot, but there's still a few that are erroring out. And that is basically because the agent hasn't come down yet, so it's still kind of throwing these errors. So don't obsess over it like me. This is basically just saying that the agent isn't really ready yet, that's coming down to the device. Which is fine. So it takes some time. But if we go and we check out one of these devices, You'll now be able to see here when we click in the stuff that we're and we now are starting to see, you know, a lot of this nice little data being populated. Physical drive information, how many partitions, size of but like there's some there's some cool stuff in here. So you can see a lot of the data is starting to get filled out nicely. Virtual memory. And I believe the plan is going to be is that they're going to eventually allow you to use this type of data in um, in some dynamic device groups and stuff like that, but we're not quite there yet. But so if we unpeel back the onion a little bit deeper, I'm going to show you what I did. What another thing I found when looking at some of this. Okay, now that my computer stopped freaking out, so I'm using the beta graph API and looking at that device because I'm just like, come on, this stuff has to be in there. And I did a bunch of work today trying to look for it, but unfortunately it isn't. But, and I'm going to move this up a little bit, but one thing I thought was a little interesting is it looks like potentially there is a hardware information thing in here. And I don't, I don't know enough about the data structure on it, and I'm still trying to do some research into here, because they haven't currently opened it up to the API. The idea is going to be is you're going to be able to export via CSV, and of course you can see it in the console right now, but um, but you still can't really get a lot of information that you're looking for. I mean, you can work off the existing hardware information, but we're still just not quite there yet. But obviously, this is exciting. This feature has finally been has coming out, and I think it's going to open up a lot of other great potential opportunities, and we'll just have to keep an eye on it. 